So for this assignment, I wanted to go over a few things. Um, a lot of students run into some issues, and most of them are with the transition. How do you make a transition between um, the top and the side, and then from the side to that bottom part? And so before we really jump into it, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to make an extrusion. And so you can go under Surface and Extrude. make a straight extrusion and then within this feature you have a few different properties one of them is solid solid is not going to work in this case and that's because we're working with open curves curves and um, so because they're not closed to curves you cannot create a solid even if a solid says yes the solid is on it still doesn't create a solid um, but there's other features here which are really interesting my favorite one would be the both sides so when you click on both sides you can extrude from a center line, which is the way it is set up right now. Instead of using uh, without the both sides right there, and then it only does one of the sides. So it's much quicker to just say extrude using both sides. And then if you select all of the curves at once, you'll get this, which gives you, it gives you the full profile in 3D. Um, and I should definitely go under this shading shading mode, so it's easier to see what I'm doing. Um, but so once you have that, which is really easy to do, um, you're going to want to go under the surfaces and make a loft. So you're going to want to loft each of the sides. And do that for each of them. And that's it. So now you have all of its different sections and you want to connect them by doing a blend surface. And so this is where most of the, um, like most people make mistakes right here because there's just different ways of doing it. Um, but the way I want you to use it or to create this surface is by using the blend surface, which should be right there, yeah, blend surface. So you go down to surface, blend surface, and there's a few ways to use it, but you're always gonna have a starting edge from one of your surfaces, and then an end surface, and so you select the edge that you want to use, and then there's different uh, features here, you don't have to worry about them, just click enter, and then you're going to have this box that pops up and this box gives you additional properties and some of them are for the position and other, other features right there give you um, an adjustment of how far you want to pull the, the points and so if you use tangency you'll get something like that but if you use like let's say um, Number two would be curvature. If you say that, what it does is it lines up two points to be to have continuity with this edge. And we don't really want that. We want to have nice continuity between edge one and we want less com continuity with edge two. So what we will do is select number two tangency, number one curvature. And then we can change these numbers, which means if we want two to be closer in, we can go to the second one here, lower it, and then the first one higher up, and you'll get results like this one. So you don't want such a difference between these numbers, because if number two is, uh, let's say, 0 0.5, and 1.5, then you end up having some really strange curve happening here where it goes out, 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 and then it goes back in to follow that surface. So you don't want that. Um, you want something more like a one to one to one, maybe. Let's try point seven to one. Yeah, that seems like it creates a nice curve, and you can just play around with it and just pull it up and down. Uh, maybe 0 0.75 would give you better results. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So it's up to you how you want to build this your face and what kind of numbers you want to use. You can also use tangency, tangency. That tends to give you really good results too. That's fine. Um, 
I like to use curvature for this edge tendency for this one because it creates a nice transition like this. Um, so I'll keep it this way for you know for the sake of this assignment and just for the sake of the demo. Um, but the whole point here is you can do that on one side, but if you try to use the same feature here, you're going to run into an issue because the numbers are not going to match. And so one way to try to fix it is using the same exact number. And I think we used uh, 0.75 for one of the sides. And one of them was curvature, the other one was tangent. So you have to remember which one is which. And if your numbers are exactly the same, then it should work. Let's check. Um, I'll try to do exactly the same thing. And I said number two was 0 0.75, 0 0.75, number one, one, and then curvature, tangent. And yeah, actually, if you do that, it does not work. So that's not how you want to build this surface. What you would want to do is create the top surface, and then using a blend surface, create the bottom surface. And here you can just use one one tangent tangent. That should do the job. Um, and once you have the top and the bottom, all you have to do is create a loft from the top to the bottom to finish that off. And you can do that on both sides. So I'll show you how to do that again using the blend surface, blending from this side to this one. OK, one, one. That seems to be OK with these settings. So I'll accept that. And we'll try the bottom one. And let's see what kind of results we get. Yeah, this one gives you much better results. So you can keep it at tangency, or you can make it curvature and see if it gives you better results. Um, Curvature is supposed to give you better results, but it really depends on what you're looking for. So in this case, curvature works well. So we use curvature. Um, you know, make it your own. You can change the design. Um, it's really up to you. And then we'll use the same process here. Make a loft from each of the sides. And do it twice. And then once you have that, if you want to select all of the surfaces, uh, you can type in this command called SEL. So SEL means select. So you can select all, you can select, uh, I don't know what this is, select only the boxes, select only the boundaries. And have you seen, you've seen it before, like if you say like extrude um, a curve, it's going to be CRV. So here you can select all of the curves. And then for surfaces, usually we use SRF. So if you say select SRF, you're going to be selecting all of the surfaces. So that's a quick way to select everything at once. And then you can just join all of your surfaces. And then if you use CAP, you can close off the whole form, which gives you a solid. And once you have it set up as a solid, you can simply use the fillet edge command and then assign the radii. I think it's going to have to be much smaller than 1. So I'll try point 0.1 and select all of your edges. Press Enter, Enter. And that's it. Now we have a solid with rounded edges, and we've used the blend surface to create the transition.